Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed our first trip to the Twilight River. We're gonna head back right now. Found ourselves some pink winged Pikmin, which are brand new to this game, much like the rock Pikmin. Pretty cool. Helping us ferry things around with their cute little wings. If you guys have been enjoying this series so far, please continue to like it. Subscribe if you have not to stay up to date with what's going on and Comment if you feel like it. So we're going to go ahead and get out all of our winged Pikmin. We'll get 15 of the rest. We'll see how much exploring we wind up doing, but one of the things that I really want to prioritize today is making sure that we're growing more of the pink Pikmin. I did a decent job last time. I got 30 of them, which is okay, but the reality of our situation is we're going to need quite a few more than just the uh, just the third. So we're gonna work on getting some uh, pellets today. No, 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 not not for you. I feel bad denying the rock Pikmin the opportunity. No, no, sir, sir, sir. No, no. Excuse you. It's for pink Pikmin only. All right, there's a pellet in here. More pellets. Yeah, these are just gonna go to the pinks so far, and that'll make raising them up a little bit easier. Thank you for doing the wonderful job of picking up all of those pellets from the ground, from the uh, PNF-404 ground buttholes. Appreciate that. Yeah, so I did a little bit of research and it turns out that these kind of weird pink Laffy Taffy looking things coming out of the ground, these ingrown hairs, are called flukeweed or flukeweed, one of the two. I like that I start that sentence off by saying, I've done a lot of research, and then I probably immediately butcher the name of whatever it is I'm referring to. So, I'm just trying to stay humble. I think you guys can all appreciate that as fans of this channel. You don't want a Let's Player that's going to just be, you know, all cocky and arrogant. I'm human, sometimes. I'm human after all. So yeah, we're going to propagate our pinks. Don't take that the wrong way. And, uh, yeah. What's nice about Pink Pikmin, and that's something that I showed you all last time in the previous episode, is they're capable of traversing water. So that's something that I'm actually going to do right now. I'm going to call off all the Pikmin, including the Reds. I only need one captain to do this. Okay, great. Thanks for that being awesome. So I'm going to gather up the pinks that I have here. I'm going to pluck the ones that we've got. And we'll use these guys. You actually only need, I think, you might need about 20 for what I'm about to do. I make that sound very mysterious, but this is just kind of very common gameplay. So this is something that we've already done so far. We're getting a fruit that we've already acquired, but there isn't a real good way to go get this because you can't cross this bridge and go in the water without wing Pikmin or, you know, another mysterious way. So instead, we're gonna find ourselves in the presence of some delicious black or red grapes. Also, I think it's adorable that the winged Pikmin are like picking what type of grape. Oh, that was exactly the, the amount I needed. How about that? Did something right for once. You have all your Pikmin and they're very cute faring one grape a piece. I love that. They're just trying to have a little nice little snack. I like when people call me that. So uh, yeah, until then, we're going to continue to clean out this area. We want to try to bolster our number from 30 to hopefully somewhere in the ballpark of 60 to 80. That'd be good. That's a good kind of a good hard count number for the yellows. You want to try to get the pellet to be the same color as the Pikmin if you can. I actually did it correctly that time. It turns out that if you do things correctly, things work a lot better. But you never would have thought that would have been a thing, huh? So we're trying to do things the right way here at D-Mike Industries. And that's for the fans, to be honest. It's more for you guys than for anything. Don't worry, I'm always going to show you plenty of tutorials on what not to do. And that's more for your health than anything. Because I wouldn't want to lead you guys astray. You know, I'm not some sort of grifter who's trying to take advantage of my fans. Absolutely not. So, 
We're actually doing really well on pinks for now. We'll come back and pluck them, the ones that we have left over later. So one of the things that we saw in the previous episode that I wasn't able to take advantage of stems from, <laughs> stems from, is the, uh, there was a fruit up on the ledge that is not this way, of course. That's a way that you can go if you're interested, and I'm not going to try to hold you back from exploring this locale the way that you want it to, but it was over here, and this was a fruit that we could not get last time because I tried to use yellows. I was able to get one up there, and I'm feeling like there might be a way that you could kind of cheese the game and do it that way, but I don't really want to embarrass myself. Excuse me. So, you'll have your uh, wing Pikmin and carry this fig. Figures that they would do that. And you can use any sort of Pikmin to really knock this down. I'm actually probably going to use reds because I imagine their attack power is a little better. So once it hits yellow, you can charge them. And then by the time... Ah, uh, poop. Well, there's that. I, uh, I done goof. That's okay. We'll still get some winged Pikmin out of that one. That's one of the things that I'm trying to get better at, is having the foresight to get the... So that's my problem, is the big ones I screw up because I don't give them enough time. And then in the small ones I give them too much time, and then I just... I done goofed it. But that's okay. See all these, all these wing Pikmin? We're doing a great job. Let's actually see how many we have. 44, not bad. We're gonna keep at it though. We're gonna want to bolster our numbers. And there was that little area, kind of in this direction before, where the, uh, let's see where we're at. That's one of the things that kind of makes this game a little tough for me is that after I make a lot of kind of progress and I accomplish some stuff, I kind of forget where I'm going just because the landscape obviously changes the further along that you play. And you have to just kind of be mindful of that. I'm gonna try to hop onto this lily pad and go back over and explore this area a little bit. I remember there being some bomb rocks and those could be pretty useful in continuing our travails around this area. I don't know if there's anything good to come from this fluke weed. But we're gonna try it. I feel like that'd be a pretty decent insult for people that didn't understand it. Yeah, you're just being a fluke weed. You know, it's like when you're a kid and stuff and like, there are those little insults that don't really make any sort of sense. Oh, there was a fruit in there. How about that? Those insults that don't really make sense. Like, you know, you call somebody like a turd burglar or like a butt munch and stuff. Like none of those things really make sense at all. But that's, you know, it's kind of fun to harmlessly insult your friends, right? Or people you care about? Why not? Okay. So, we have managed to gain four bomb rocks from that area. I don't remember there being much ado inside this area, but we have picked up three fruit. Yeah, I don't know if this cave is a good place for us to be, but we will take a quick peep in here. This is where, if you guys all remember, we completed a circuit with our yellows and we opened up this area a little bit. I'm just checking to see if there's, eh, excuse you. Whoa, whoa, you are defying the laws of evolution. Or maybe he's going along with it, I don't know. I guess that technically makes sense. It's going from the water to the land, so. Two billion years would do that to you. But it makes you wonder like how this kind of factors into the history of the earth, or sorry, PNF 404, to be scientifically correct. This game is supposed to, I guess, take place in like the apocalypse or post apocalypse, not the apocalypse. That'd be kind of scary, wouldn't it? Hey, do you guys want to uh, play this uh, super cute game about inch tall creatures harvesting even smaller creatures and murdering them during the apocalypse? That sounds way less kind of fulfilling than what I'm assuming they intended to do. Okay, so now we've got a good batch. I'm gonna stop talking nonsense. We've got, actually, I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna continue along and we're going to ride the lily pads 
downstream, which is a thing we weren't able to do previously. And that's because the winged Pikmin pulled that stake out of the way, that stick that was kind of holding up. It was a bit of a log jam, if I do say so. Do say so myself. I like when I try to be clever and then uh, I forget how to uh, speak. So that's always useful. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. So heading down this drain pipe, we will now get to the kind of meat and potatoes of the Twilight River. There's a large tree trunk that looks pretty scary. Now, I didn't show this off. Also, I apologize in advance for those with arachnophobia. Shield dry. Um, a good way to get the arachno... Okay, this is not working. This is not working the way that I intended it to. Let's get our Pikmin out of there. Come on. Come on, fellas. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that it was... I, I looked at a guide at one point, I'm sorry, and it told me that uh, taking out the arachnode is easy, is most easily done with uh, rock pikmin, but clearly that, that did not work out the way that I intended it to. Instead, it looks like winged pikmin are kind of your, your heavy hitters here, and if we go up and around town, if we bring it around town, bring it around town. Bring it around town. We can push this bag back and this will give us easy access. Now we don't have to continue to ride the lily pad. Pretty convenient. So that is a shortcut back to the Drake, which is very nice. Don't forget to roll your R's, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the Arachnode. We'll actually send the pinks, a few of them, with the Arachnode to carry its abundant corpse. Yeah, I just love the way that they program the, the Pink Pikmin. They're just very cute and they kind of just float around. They're very silly. They kind of squeal when they get the chance to do something fun like murder. As you do, you know? Life's all about enjoying yourself. Like, if you're not enjoying your life, then what's the point? Okay, so we got some of these grub things. Let's have our Rock Pikmin kill them. These old jerks. I don't know if these are the same grubs as the one- Oh, we did it eat one of my Rock Pikmin? What a turd! That, now that is a turd burglar. You get the award for being a turd burglar. Anyway, anyway, I'll try not to be too salty about that. So these fluke weed things are kind of strange. I'm not entirely sure why there's the insistence of having some that have one, some are three, some are five. It would be nice if they were just kind of a consistent number. So we'll have the, the pink Pikmin carry that back and grab a data file. So Wing Pikmin, a little tip, they are aces in aerial combat. That is very true. Otherwise, they are poo-poo when it comes to fighting Pikmin. So you want to use your yellows, your rock Pikmin, if you're afraid of having your Pikmin squished. I'm just going to charge the remaining Pikmin I have at this wall and hopefully have them break it down. Unfortunately, Wing Pikmin are just not very good at it. And, uh, you know... That's just a product of their environment. That's okay, we still love them. Apparently we're not allowed to charge them at the wall, so we'll just let them sit back and watch their brethren aggressively lose their brain cells as they smash into the sandcastle. Makes you wonder what the little targets on the side are, though. I don't quite understand that. Please don't send me target. And, uh, yeah. So that's done. You'll notice here we have another bridge that we're going to be building. There's a data file inside here. There's these stupid skittering leaf jerks. But we'll read this. It says, Wing Pikmin are somewhat lacking in attack strength. Yes, so reinforcing what I'm just saying. Wing Pikmin... Ooh, that's terrifying. Wing Pikmin are not very strong. So that's why it's nice to grab yourself some bomb rocks, if you can. Alright. So we got another pink plant here. Another pellet posy. We'll carry that back. I'm trying to be careful here because the unknown makes me a little noivous. It looks like some sort of a kind of a dragonfly creature going on, which is terrifying. And there's a, a voltage gate here that we'll take care of. Now, this area right here, this is one of the places where you can use your winged Pikmin. Now, we need to be very, very quiet, because while they can lift this gate, 
you're gonna want to get in and out of here very very quickly so we'll whistle off that we're gonna try to charge our red Pikmin in here to grab this thing and get the heck out of here yeah boy all right all right all right all right you don't need okay so that worked better than I thought I'm not entirely sure what that plant or that fruit is it kind of looks like a tomato Oh, I wonder if you can lift it up as we've already lifted it up. Hey, game, thanks for that. So yeah, you have three giant bull borbs there. We're not going to mess around with them quite yet. But I do want to knock this gate down because there's something nasty behind it. But I want to hopefully get to if the yellows could hurry it the heck up. Come on, let's go. There's a nasty surprise back here that I want to see if this will work. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, get out of there. I don't know if that did any damage. I don't think that didn't do damage. Okay. So that was kind of a fail. Anyway, uh, this is the, um, the government drone. Okay, so that is doing no damage. Wonderful, okay. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and juice up our Pikmin here. And get them all excited to attack it. Its weak spot is its head. It's gonna try to eat our Pikmin, but if we swarm it... All right, everybody come back. We will reconvene, here we go. Actually, I did not mean to select pink Pikmin. This is actually horrible. Just kidding, all right. So we killed that thing and we got ourselves one of my favorite fruits. So hopefully we can carry this back safely as I like forget what I'm doing. I actually do need to hurry up, so that would be good. We'll carry this fruit back. It's a burrowing snagret. So that wasn't too bad, was it? But yeah, we need to make some haste here. Actually, I'm going to whistle off these guys because they are kind of slow. So we'll use a combination of reds and yellows to carry it back post haste. Grab this data file and read about another thing from Captain Omar. It seems like two people working together could use this mushroom to reach the other side. That's something we'll do later. But for some reason, Louie and I just can't get our acts together. I'm sure you guys can all relate to having a partner in a project who just couldn't pull their own weight. I wish I had a more reliable partner. Ugh. I wonder how my wife is doing back on Hokotate. Sounds like Captain Olimar is a little wistful to be back with his lovely missus, his better half, as you might say. I'm not sure how I feel about that phrase. It's kind of interesting. Better half. But yeah, we're doing okay. The 32 Pikmin, I believe, that we're missing, I would assume are probably back at the Drake, and we've opened up the pathway to get back. Since we pushed that bag, you know, we shifted our sack, and in doing so, we created a more beneficial pathway for ourselves. We got 10 of our Pikmin right here, or I think 16 of our Pikmin, carrying the, the big apple. Oop, I spoiled it. Okay, well anyway, guys, this is an apple! I wanted to do that just to be kind of like funny with all the different fruits to act like I didn't know what stuff was. Hee hee hee, I'm so funny. That's okay. But yeah, we have all of our Pikmin within the safety circle. Seems like there's one that... <laughs> I like that the apple is kind of shaking. There's one that's missing, so I'll go to the Drake real quick and see if I can call it back. Get on back, everybody. Oh wait, did you just abandon the apple? Oh guys, no, 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 no! That was horrible, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, come on. Get ding-dongs. Alright, Rock Pikmin, go! Hurry! Hurry! Oh man. It's a race against the clock. Can we make it? I'm nervous, everybody. That was an absolute... a blunder of epic proportions. That's not very cash money of us. Okay, it looks like we'll we'll be okay. We got all of our Pikmin here. We did a heckin' good job on collecting fruit today. That's like five million fruits if you count all the individual grapes as a fruit. 
We got one little red Pikmin there buried in the ground. It was not, or maybe that's a pink Pikmin, I couldn't really tell. It looks red. That was actually intentional, I didn't really... Eh, maybe it's pink. But yeah, that was a good day. We fought... A government drone? Collected five million fruit? Oh, one rock Pikmin is gonna get chomped. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, that was when we were on the other side of the of the forest. That's okay. The river, not the forest. It was a forest until someone chopped it down, you jerks. But yeah, pretty successful day all around, minus the rock Pikmin who lost its life. So it looks like we have... Uh, so black grapes, delicious. The dark pustules, that word is disgusting, by the way. Pustule, Ugh. Dislike, extreme dislike. We've got, it looks like a fig in the background. A delectable, okay, that's what it's called. A delectable bouquet. I'm not quite sure why they call it that. I figured the names would, they're always just gonna be silly, that's the Pikmin way, but. I guess this is a quite a large amount of juice, which is nice. A searing acid shock. I th I don't quite remember what this is. It looks like a crab apple or like maybe a nectarine, but I don't remember nectarines being green. So I'll update the next episode with what this fruit and then the orange one on the left is. I'm not entirely sure. We've got 20 different types of fruit because we're epic. So we're doing really well. The portable sunset. Some sort of a potential citrus fruit, I think. Looks kind of like somebody sat on an orange. That's okay. Don't sit on your citrus, ladies and gentlemen. You might feel pretty sour if you did that. So that gives us a lot of fruit, actually. That's like two and a half vials. And the insect condo, I love that name. This is a, uh, looks like a, an apple. I'm not entirely sure what kind of apple. There's a bunch of different kinds. It's red, obviously, so you would assume red delicious, but I remember those apples looking kind of more red. There's like a million billion different types of apples. I have no idea. I like the green kind because they're kind of tart and they go good in apple pie. Maybe throw some caramel or peanut butter on it. That's delish. But yeah, 38 vials of juice. We are doing awesome, most of which are yellow. So it makes me think that there's a lot of kind of citrusy fruits or, you know, lemonade looking juices. So yeah, I got quite the buffer. That's the conclusion of day 15. I think we only lost maybe two or three Pikmin, so that's pretty good. Just two, not bad. One at sunset, because I'm a ding dong. Yeah, 36 fruit, 37 vials of juice. Yeah, we are absolutely killing it. Good job, everybody. So let's read a Journal entry from Brittany, and we'll call it a day. Fascinating. The yellow Pikmin actually have a lower body density and thus can be thrown higher than the other Pikmin. This is in addition to their ability to manipulate electricity and the appearance of their adorably large ears. Signed, Brittany. That's like day two stuff, Brittany. Like, have some self-respect for the fact that we are way further along. We're going to go ahead and enjoy our save screen, and hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.